BS that kills your success with women. Part 1. The No Contact Rule You should not want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you. In fact, ask yourself the question, do you want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with you? Have you ever maybe had a friend and you're excited about going to some concert or some event or, or something and that friend wasn't excited about it and so they just kind of tagged along with you but the whole time you could tell they weren't having fun and they weren't enjoying the experience and they were just bitter and, and angry that they're being dragged along. That's not a good feeling. It's not a good experience. And if you've ever been in a relationship like that, it is one of great pain because you'll always feel you're giving, but you're not getting back. You're always contributing more. And that's so key. Genuine desire is what you should be seeking. You should not be trying to get someone back. If you break up with your girlfriend, if she breaks up with you, if she says she needs time to herself, that's it. She's done there. This is why the no contact rule is such a ridiculous, silly rule. Because what are you trying to accomplish? You're trying to trick someone who doesn't want to be with you to wanting to be with you. It doesn't make any sense. It means that you have a low value of yourself. And, and think about this. How highly can you value yourself as a man if you're going to be like on the calendar? All right, one day down. Whew, I made it through one day, two days, right? And you're going to go 60 days and then you're gonna contact this girl. If you're valuing her that high, why shouldn't she be doing the same for you? You see what I'm saying? So no contact rule, forget about that. Don't even play that game. If you're trying to play that game, you've already lost the game. If a girl breaks up with you, if she needs some time to herself, it's the same thing. Just write it off, it's done. Just close the book right then, forget about it. You guys are getting hung up on one girl. That's why you guys need to be learning how to go out there and date other women and actually get your social skills up. Because in order for you to be discerning, you must have options. Imagine this, okay? If he had access to a lot of different women, right? Let's say that he had four or five women that he was dating. Think he would care if this one girl broke up with him? No. Even if he was exclusive with her and he wasn't currently dating four or five girls, but he knew that he had the ability to go and get another girl and to be dating multiple girls as soon as this girl broke up with him, he'd be like, hey, that's great. You need some time to yourself. Awesome. Enjoy your time to yourself. I'm going to enjoy some time for myself and it's not going to be by myself. Let me tell you that. So you need to move on before this shit happens, not when it happens. And certainly not a no contact rule. If you're doing no contact rule, you've already lost the game, my friend. If you're in a breakup situation right now, if you're hurting right now, I want you to just ponder this. I want you to ask yourself the question, do I want to be with someone who doesn't want to be with me? Ask yourself that question multiple times until you understand what I'm saying here, until you get that answer, until you really visualize that in your head and play it forward and realize that what you're actually wanting is you want to be with someone who wants you. And there's no substitute for that. You cannot create any kind of substitute in life for that. You're gonna have to be comfortable with yourself first. So work on yourself, work on your goals as a man, put your mission and purpose first in life, never put a woman ahead of that ever, and you're never gonna be in the situation. Then a woman will be an accessory to your life and a compliment to it.